Hello, everybody. Biff here. Time for another Biff's Bit. Just recently on the podcast, uh, Phil was talking about turn counters for missions. And I have to admit, the first time he started talking about those, I didn't actually think of the mechanism of turn counting in a mission. I thought about physical turn counters. Um, so, <laughs> just where my mind goes, I guess. Um, anyway, uh, that got me thinking about, hey, maybe I could do a Biff's bit on some of the little bits that I have accumulated in X-Wing. Uh, some of them I acu accumulate them because of, like, theme. Others because I like that they convey a little bit more information that I find useful than the standard pieces that come with the X-Wing game. So uh, bear with me a little bit. Hopefully this will be entertaining as I show off some of the interesting bits that I have accumulated. Um, I'm not going to speak to where I got all of these because I can't remember some of them. Uh, I will include either in the notes or as little scrolls that go across where I've um, acquired some of these little items. So if you're interested at all in looking more into these or similar type bits, uh, you can do that. So, in the theme of turn counters, <laughs> this, this is the first one that I'm going to show off. Uh, I got this guy for my Death Star Trench Run. Uh, it's just uh, two, I suppose, maybe like nylon plastic discs. One of them's got a cutout, and it's just numbers one through six. This was perfect for the Trench Run mission because, uh, true to form on Dag Dagobah Daves, uh, you start the clock. When you do start it, it starts at six, um, and then... It'll never go higher than six. So you can see it's just a laser etched um, with uh, a, a rare earth magnet in the center. There's a rare earth magnet on um, on the top. They go together, and voila, you've got yourself a turn counter. This one's pretty slick. But I, I wound up upgrading my turn counter uh, to this little guy. <laughs> Compliments of uh, Combat Zone Scenery. Um, this is something that they cast uh, specifically for the Dagobah Dave's scenario. As you can see here, you've got uh, Yavin with the moon of Yavin and, of course, the dreaded Death Star. It's going to rotate around the planet Yavin. You, there's, a, there's a turn kind of clock on the perimeter of the base that you, know, you can start at 6. And as the turns ratchet down, the Death Star rotates around until finally you get to the end and it's in position to fire on the moon and... Imperials win! Yay, yay, yay! It's a it's a, a four piece set that uh, came from Combat Zone Scenery, um, and you got to paint it yourself, so you can be very very creative. But this was this was pretty cool. It's got to be one of my favorite turn counters that I've got. Um, so you can check that one out, Combat Zone Scenery. As far as other other bits, um, so let's say you've got yourself a little mission where you've got a missile battery and you want to track not only hull but shield value this is something i do in my um uh, imperial star destroyer scenario uh, i went out and bought these lovely little hull tokens uh, to keep track of the hull of perhaps a mission objective or some structure that's in your mission uh, these guys are a little laser etched again the, the same kind of plastic the nylon plastic they got the lovely hull written right on them so you know what they are i even like the graphic that's behind it uh, re reminds me a little bit of the symbology that shows up on the FFG cards. Um, so I bought a bunch of these so we can stack up these hull tokens to track the health of the hull. And of course you can always still use the shield tokens that come from FFG. But this is a nice way is as this unit winds up uh, taking damage. So now all the tokens are gone. So guess what? It's no longer a missile battery and uh, you're good to go. So another little, little uh, set of tokens. Another set of tokens that I've really enjoyed using are those for the uh, critical hit tokens. The critical hit tokens that come with the Fantasy Flight with the X-Wing game, they don't tell you anything, even though some of the damage can be very, very specific. So I found these, these tokens. It comes in a set of, I think, 12, 10 or 12. Um, you've got your generic uh, critical hit. Uh, but let's say you start taking some damage to where your your actual effect is you, your attacks are at minus one strength. This is a great marker to denote that. Now everybody knows on the table how you're impacted. Or let's say you can't actually perform um, an attack the next time you can. Well, that's a way of marking that. Or your agility is now one less. 
Um, or the dreaded, from now on, you will be considered a pilot skill of zero. Um, that's a nice way of kind of marking that. So again, you've got the generic plus a lot of the other effects. Not necessarily all of them, but a lot of the other effects. So this is a kind of a nice little setup. And then finally, the other little bit that I want to show you is um, I myself will oftentimes forget when I'm flying a pilot that has veteran instincts. So this is a neat little way of marking your new pilot skill. Uh, I got these little markers that fit into the notches for the ship number, the ship ID number. So you see this little guy is a pilot skill now 7 um, because I'm flying veteran instincts so I'm going to replace that 5 with a 7. So that helps when I'm visually scanning the board to see who needs to move first or in what order they're going to move. I really, really like this. So you can get them for the small base. You can get them for the large base. And you can even get them for the epic scale ships. All of them fit right into the little slots where you would normally put a ship ID number. Uh, that, to me, is the downside to this is now I, if I had multiple let's say Gamma Squadron veterans I would have some difficulty in putting a unique ID on each one of these so I'm currently trying to figure out a way that maybe I can resolve that um, by mounting these little indicators in another way. They come in sets um, you know this one's a pilot skill zero so this would be another way of trying to mark the ships that might get the critical hit the pilot skill zero critical hit um, Again, they come in three sizes, and the numbers that are available go from uh, 0 up to 11, I believe. So you can have that pilot skill 9 to get the veteran instincts, and he's all the way up to 11. I think that's all I'm going to gonna showcase for the time being. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this video, Please like and subscribe to help us continue improving and expanding our channel's content.